What's up, Bass Slayers? It is your boy, ba <laughs> It's your boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's your boy, Bass Slayer, here back with another vid. Today, we're looking at my top five favorite lures for bass. Ass. Sorry, I just said that, guys. All right, but let's get into it here. Coming in at number five, we have the Whopper Plopper. And I'm not sure about all the other water pop Whopper Ploppers because I haven't tried them, but this is the Rainbow Trout style. And they're apparently for bass and pike. Um, I've actually tried these um, when there was bass right below it and they didn't even pay attention. Um, that's pretty much why I rated that number five. But coming in at number four, you guys, we have our finesse wacky worm. Now, this wacky worm separates my logo of my channel between Bass and Slayer. If you guys look right in the middle, I don't know if you guys noticed that that's a wacky worm. But if you look at it, that's definitely a wacky worm. Um, but this wacky worm is made for Texas rigs. Um... Ned Rigs, Jig Rigs, Carolina, and don't forget Wacky. Um, if I said Texas already, that's fine. If I said Wacky already, that's fine. Um, I've had some great deal with bass on these. I've caught a lot of smallmouth bass on these. None largemouth bass, but I've caught a lot of smallmouth bass on these. Moving on to number three, we have... The venomous crankbait, and this specific crankbait is a KVD 1.5 signature series. Um, this right here is blue and um, green lime. This particular crankbait is about 15 bucks. It's a pretty good bait, you guys. Um, this is my number three because I've had some pretty deal good on bass with crankbaits. Um, mostly smallmouth. Did you guys already know that I've only caught one largemouth bass in my whole entire life? You guys just believe that. I've caught several spotted bass, but I have not caught a largemouth bass. Just think of that. Um, so that is my number pick. I've also caught spotted on this too, but that is my number three pick. Now, t these two are pretty obvious to the bass fishing, but this is number two pick. This is number two pick. The Dad, please. The regular jig, the curl tail jig, to be exact. Um, curl tails, I've had some pretty good um, deals on at creeks, and um, some uh, bass. Um, a lot of smallmouth bass and spotted also with this. Um, just a regular white curl tail. Um, I also use this kind of curl tail for my bass. A multicolor. But I just like the plain white too. Um, pretty good bait. And now coming in on my number one. Drum roll, please. And my number one is the one, the only, weedless jig. This is my number one only because weedlesses have got me a lot of bass. I'm just telling you, it's my favorite bait for all bass fishing besides a wacky worm and the crankbait um so yeah guys let's just just talk about this really quick i like it because you can't get stuck in the weeds i like it the way it hooks the fish when you hook it here's the mouth it goes and cooks it it pushes that thing right down it sets the hook so well you guys i just love them that is my top five favorite lures for bass if you guys like this video make sure you go down into the comments and, and um comment that i do another one of these i'll be checking for that make sure to stay hooked and i'll see you again on the next video this has been bass slayer thanks for watching